I'm gonna assume you're crazy in the bedroom. Why do all of you guys think I'm so kinky? Hello universe, my name is Kati and welcome to my adventure. I'm sure everyone is very familiar with the assumptions tag going around and I know I'm a little late to the party but I wanted to hop on the train anyways. I'm not gonna waste a lot of time trying to explain it because like I said, you probably already know what it is. But basically, I went on my Instagram and Snapchat and asked you guys to send me in assumptions that you think are true about me. I surprisingly got in a lot of responses and although I can't use every single one of them, if you did participate, thank you so much. Honestly, I was a little nervous to do this because I was afraid the assumptions were gonna be kinda brutal but you guys were surprisingly pretty nice so... Thanks again. I'm really excited to read and respond to all of the things you guys have to say, so let's just go ahead and get started. Also, side note, I already filmed this once and had about 50% of it edited. Then my hard drive crashed and I lost about two months worth of data and footage, so here we go again. I assume you sing really loud in the car and like spontaneous long drives. Yes. <laughs> I'm constantly singing Broadway tunes and I love any excuse for a really long car ride. Something about it is just so therapeutic to me. However, I wouldn't necessarily refer to it as singing. It's really more of a performance. I assume you're the freaky type of girl. Um... Nah. I assume you're gay. I mean, do you want me to call your mom and ask her? I was with her just last night. I'm assuming you smoke the devil's lettuce. <laughs> This is something I actually get quite often. Um, a lot of people think I smoke weed. I don't. I definitely had my stoner days back when I was in high school, but I came to outgrow it. A couple years back, something really tragic and fucked up happened to me while I was stoned, and ever since, I just haven't had the same desire. I just don't like being that mellow. It's just not for me. Um, I don't have any issue with people smoking. I'm fine if I'm around it. Sometimes I'll even take a hit or two, but all in all, I try not to ever get too high because if I do, I'll get really, really paranoid. And before all you Mary Jane maniacs come for me, yes, I have tried different strains. <laughs> Pretty much all weed makes me paranoid. Sometimes I'll get aches and pains, sometimes I'll get migraines. Just all around, weed makes me feel miserable. So, needless to say, me and weed, uh, we don't get along. I assume you're clingy. I don't think so. I mean, I definitely have times where I can be more physically clingy. I have a very childlike personality, so I definitely love attention and being baby and getting cuddled, but um, at the end of the day, I'm pretty independent. That's just kind of how I've been for a really, really long time. So I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree with that assumption, but uh, good try. <laughs> okay, so this one's kind of long. She had to break it up into like three parts. I assume you're way too kind to everyone you meet. This is your biggest flaw and greatest feature. Flaw because people are holes and will take advantage. Greatest feature because you're such a beautiful soul. Wow. Even though it is an assumption that's incredibly sweet to say about me, so thank you. <laughs> I would say that's pretty true. However, I wouldn't necessarily use the words too kind because I don't think you can ever be too kind to people. I guess I would agree that I do get taken advantage of a lot. I'm for sure a people pleaser. I put almost everyone else's emotions before mine for as long as I can and that can end up causing me a lot of personal damage. It can also cause me a lot of financial damage. I'm constantly offering to pay for people when I can't even afford it just because it's like a guilt thing. And even if someone is like, oh no, it's fine, I got it, I'll fight them so hard. And in the back of my head, I'll be like, bitch, stop, you can't afford this. I can't stop. I have friends that I've loaned hundreds of dollars to and still haven't seen it back. I'll put myself in sticky positions just to take care of the people I love. That's something I'm actually still trying to work on for myself. It's okay to want to help people and, you know, do nice things for the people you love. However, it's not okay when you risk your physical, emotional, or financial well-being to do so. So something I'm still struggling with is finding the balance between when I should help someone and when I should help myself. So yeah, uh, <laughs> there's that one for you. <laughs> I bet the head game's flame. Depends who you're asking. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it just depends how comfortable and into the person I am. Like I have some ex-partners that would give me a five-star Yelp review, and I have others that probably wouldn't even want to comment. <laughs> I feel like I just gave a little too much information, so... I assume you actually have a penis. You can't hide the truth any longer. Who told you? I assume you're a kick-ass human being. Yeah, I mean, I like to think I'm pretty cool. Then again, I'm also a narcissistic so do what you want with that information. <laughs> you seem too nice to people sometimes. Um, wow. I think it's weird that more than one person said something along the lines of that. I really didn't think I came off as that nice, but 
I guess I do to some. <laughs> like I said to the other assumption earlier, I don't think people can ever really be too nice or too kind to someone. But like I also said, it's very easy for me to put other people's emotions way before mine, and because of that, I can get myself into some pretty shitty situations, so... You strike me as very empathetic. Mm, yeah, I would say I'm a pretty empathetic person. I try to practice empathy the best I can because you never know what somebody's struggling with. Let's say someone you know all of a sudden gets really cold and distant out of nowhere. Almost everyone's first thought in that situation would probably be, well, they're just being an Whole, so I'm gonna cut them off. But you have to refrain from taking things personally and try to look deeper into it. I know I have definitely been in plenty of situations where someone I loved read too deeply into something I said or did and took it the wrong way and resulted in me looking like a dick. But in reality, I was going through something really personal and traumatic and didn't feel comfortable or worthy enough to reach out for help. You know, you just never know what someone's going through. So because of all of the times I probably look like an in somebody's eyes, I try my best to practice empathy with almost every single person I meet. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent with that one, but um, long story short, yes, you're correct. <laughs> I assumed you're older than you really are. <laughs> That's actually another one I get a lot. A lot of people think that I'm in my mid or late 20s, but I'm actually in my quite early 20s. <laughs> I'm going to assume you're crazy in the bedroom, but in a good way. Another one? Why do all of you guys think I'm so kinky? You know what? I have an idea. Let's play a drinking game. Anytime one of you guys thinks I'm kinky or says something about how I am in the bedroom, <laughs> take a shot. If you really want to, play it at home while you're watching with me. It'll probably make my video more enjoyable anyways. I assume you're a pillow princess. Once again, depends who you're asking. <laughs> I used to be really insecure with myself when it came to intimacy with women just because I hadn't had a lot of practice. It really wasn't until about a year and a half ago that I got comfortable and confident enough to actually on a girl successfully. <laughs> so yeah, I used to be kind of a pillow princess in a way, but not in a selfish, I only want pleasure type way, just in a I'm too insecure and unsure of myself to actually be able to do this way. <laughs> Anyways, you're gorgeous. Maybe that ain't an assumption, that's just the truth. All due respect, because I literally love you, but I feel like you pull mad hoes and fuck a lot. Uh, I used to. <laughs> I'm not proud to say it, but a couple years ago, I definitely had some ho days. I'm Oh my god, that was so scary. I'm just kidding, I really don't f***ing care. You know what? Give this video a thumbs up if you'd enjoy a story time of some of my past ho counters. <laughs> my old guitar player from the band I used to be in said, I don't have to assume. I already know you're the best. <laughs> I love it when people feed my ego. I assume you've definitely sucked toes before. I'm just trying to make it juicy. <laughs> no, I think feet are disgusting. I can't even give a foot massage, let alone imagine putting one in my mouth. Like it <clears throat> Thank you for trying to keep it juicy, but just no. You are super kinky. <sighs> Alright. I assume you- Okay, tell me more. <laughs> I assume you would marry a guy over a girl. Hello, Angel. Can I just give me a kiss? Oh, thank you! Um, I would have to disagree with that one. Up until like last- Am I that boring? Up until like last year, I was super against marriage. I guess I kind of changed my views on it, but I'm still not 100% sure. As for saying there's one specific gender I would choose over another is total bull. I mean, I'm bisexual, which means I like both men and women, and I know there are some bisexual people out there that prefer one gender over the other, however, I'm not one of them. I know nobody asked for it, but a uh, real quick rant. Probably one of the most annoying things about being a bisexual female is that a lot of people, especially men, have this idea that I'm going to end up with a male. Sort of like my bisexuality and attraction for women is just kind of a phase, but honestly I've given it some really hard thought, and I don't care who I end up with. As long as the person I end up being with is good to and for me, I couldn't give two shits about what's in between their legs. My feelings for both genders are pretty equal, so I really- Damn it, Dad. Hey, Dad, I'm trying to film a video right now. And you're wearing that? I'll call you back in probably like 30, 45 minutes, okay? No. Thank you for that. Alright, so finally, I have the very last assumption I'm going to read in this video. Caleb said, Alright, I IDK what it is, but I get this feeling you ate man about once in your life. Let me just be, uh, real and raw with you for a second. I've seen the things that came out of my ass, and I'm a girl. I can't even imagine the type of shit, literally, that comes out of you. Alright, you guys, all of this shit 
it talk kind of makes me have to go to the bathroom so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video so I'm actually pretty impressed with how accurate most of your assumptions were about me sort of proves to me that I'm doing a pretty good job at portraying who I really am with my YouTube channel I can honestly say there wasn't one negative or hateful assumption about me and that feels really really good so once again thank you guys for participating in this your assumptions and thoughts really mean a lot to me this video was honestly so much fun to do and I hope I can do more interactive things with you guys in the future I've been thinking about doing a Q&A so if you guys have any questions for me about literally anything please send them my way and if you'd like to see me film a Q&A please give this video a thumbs up so I can know or just let me know in the comments below question for this video um, either share with me an assumption everyone has about you and whether it's true or not or let me know if you've ever eaten man butt in your life. Give me your answer to either or both in the comments below. As always, if you'd like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow my other adventures, I'll put my social media links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and a double thank you if you participated in the assumptions. Hug your mom, hug your pet, and until my next video, remember that the universe is on your side. Bye. So it